Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Civil Engineering Forum. Today we are going to learn what's wrong. Is there too much eco? Let us learn how to solve this universal problem. Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Civil Engineering Forum. Today we are going to learn few economical solutions for how to reduce eco in a room. Excessive eco can make a room much less pleasant. It can multiply the amount of noise caused by already noisy kitchen appliances. Too much eco and reverberation phone conversations difficult to hear on both sides. This applies to video chats, recordings, even just normal conversations. Ecos can make your ventilation fan seem like a jet engine. While dealing with the same problem myself, I came across few economical solutions for this problem on how to reduce eco in a room cheaply. But before we start with the ways to solve the eco in your room, let's discuss why does your room echoes at first. Anytime sound is created, that sound has energy that propels it in the form of sound wave. This sound wave will continue to spread out until the energy is absorbed or dissipated. When the sound wave hits a hard surface, it will reflect off the surface, bouncing off in other directions. Since a sound wave is already spreading out in every direction from its point of origin, it is likely bouncing off of several different hard surfaces in different parts of the room in very close succession. When the sound of each of this reflection makes it back to your ear, you hear it in the form of an echo. Now we will move on towards the economical solutions for this problem. Our tip number one is fill the room with furniture. We know that large soft items can absorb and nullify the energy that's propelling a sound wave. One easy and effective way of adding lots of large and soft items to your room is by adding large furniture. Couches are one of the best bets and they are surprisingly effective at reducing the eco in an empty room. You can add more than one couch or even a large chair will do the same thing on a smaller scale. Of course, these are all dual purpose since they will also give you ample seating. If you already have large furniture, you can move it into the room you feel needs it most. Naturally, this is most applicable in rooms such as living room or a family room and won't be as useful as a suggestion for a kitchen. Then second is cover windows with curtains. Hard surfaces reflect sound waves and add to the eco in your room. While drywall is already hard enough to create plenty of echoes on its own, the glass in your windows is even worse. By covering up the windows with sound absorbing curtains, we can easily and aesthetically reduce the amount of eco in any room is experiencing. If you want to take this a step further, you can use soundproofing curtains instead of regular shades of fabric curtains. Soundproofing curtains are made from a special material that can absorb sound. This will be more effective as reducing echoes inside your room than a regular curtain would be. Moreover, these curtains also block noise from outside and stop it from breaking the peace inside your house. Then on the third number we have, use rugs on the floor. As we discussed in an earlier section, hardwood floors can be a significant source of eco in any room. Carpeted rooms experience far less eco than rooms with the hard flooring. Of course, carpeting a room would be far from cheap and easy to implement, but rugs fit both of those qualifications. By simply adding smooth fur fluffy rug to cover as much of the hard flooring as possible, you'll drastically reduce the eco in a room. This one thing can make an immediately noticeable difference. For improved effect, try to find the thickest rug you possibly can, as a thicker rug will be more absorptive to the sound wave. Rugs will likely not reduce the low frequency echoes. Since rugs aren't going to be very thick, they are only going to reduce the higher frequency echoes from the most speech and appliance noises. Then on the fourth number we have, use art and tapestries. If you want to reduce echo, then any and everything you can use to cover the hard walls will help reduce how much the sound wave that area reflects. This leads to a reduction in the overall echo. By multiplying this effect across many areas of a room, you can dry the room out and make it sound much better. Tapestries and paintings on canvas can both do their part to curtail the echoes while also adding to the room's decor. Sound dampening blankets work exceptionally well for reducing both echo and sound transmission. For the ceiling, acoustic baffle hung vertically or fabric wrapped ceiling banner can both be very effective way of reducing the ceiling's contribution to the echo in a room. Many people forget about the ceiling, but its contribution to the reverberation and echo is often just as great as of the walls. Anything soft on your walls will help to reduce the echo. This can be as simple as just plain fabric up to a soundproof layered curtains. Then on the fifth number we have, add plants inside the room. If you are looking for a more natural approach to reducing echo, consider adding potted plants to your home. 
Any leafy greens will do and should help minimize eco in any space. Larger plants will of course be more effective than smaller ones. You can improve the effect by simply adding sound absorbing plants to the room. The more the merrier in this case since adding more will continue reducing eco in the room. For reducing lower frequency echoes, try moving the largest plant into the corners of the room where the low frequencies tend to accumulate. Then sixth is use room divider curtains. Hanging room divider curtains are one of the most versatile way of controlling the eco in any room. There are many ways you can mount these curtains to suit practically any situation. Moreover, they have excellent sound deadening properties and come in many aesthetical pleasing colors, patterns and designs. Room divider curtains can be used to cover a small area, an entire room or anything in between. They can effectively block sound transmission through the windows as well as absorbing the echoes the windows usually creates. They can also be hung against a wall to absorb reflections effectively. Of course, you can always use them to divide a room as the name implies. This allows you to make space smaller acoustically to stop the sound from traveling further or echoing. This is great for home theaters, shared rooms or large family rooms where one person may want a privacy divider. Then on the seventh number we have use full bookshelves. Bookcases full of books can offer a very thick sound absorber that can help reduce echoes from every frequency. Low frequency echoes are generally much harder to do anything about but full bookshelves are one of the few effective ways of dealing with them. If you already have bookshelves full of books then you are in luck and you all need to do is so move them to the room with the worst echo. Then our last point here is use acoustic foam. Acoustic foam is explicitly built to reduce the echoes and reverberation in music production studios and vocal recording booths. Because of this it is very effective at cost effectively minimizing the echoes. Acoustic foam is available in several different colors and patterns. Pyramids, wedges, flat pieces and egg crated waves are available. They also serve the same function through the different shapes are indented to scatter sound wave in different directions. Beyond pattern and color, be careful of what thickness you choose to go with. Thinner materials will block only higher frequency leaving the lower frequency to resonate more. I would suggest opting for at least 2 inches thick pieces. Though in this case I believe thicker is better. Thicker pieces will cost more. Of course, so you will have to determine if it is worth it for you. These acoustic foam panels can easily be hung for several methods. They can be hung with great effect on both walls and ceilings. Even better, they can be removed and reused anywhere. So friends, I hope this was useful for you. If this is so, just click on the like button and do subscribe my channel Civil Engineering Forum. This is all for today and thank you for watching.